Final question. Do you think then that he's really in charge or is somebody else pulling the strings? Clearly he's not in charge. You know who I think is in charge? The people who are going to primary Schumer own Schumer. Chuck Schumer is pushing for DC statehood. He's pushing for the end of the filibuster. If he doesn't, he would get fired. Nancy Pelosi is on thin ice in the House. AOC, Bernie Sanders, this radical element of the Democratic Party is holding everybody hostage. And Joe Biden seems to be unwilling, incapable of standing up. He could be a consequential president. There's a way to get an infrastructure bill that Republicans would buy into. There's a way to get the DREAM Act passed, but you can't legalize one person right now until you fix the flow problems. If we pass the DREAM Act, can you imagine what signal that would send to everybody in Central America? They just legalized a million people. Less run will be next. You've got to stop the flow. Then we can talk about fixing uh, the DREAM Act and other parts of immigration. Right now, Joe Biden seems to be along for the ride, and the game plan is to run us over. Not to find common ground with Republicans, but use reconciliation, changing the structure of the Senate to pass the most radical agenda in the history of the country. And in 2022, here's my advice to the American people. If we have one more Republican, he would have to talk to us. If we had this, the House, he would have to talk to us. The only way you're going to get Joe Biden talking to Republicans, I think, is for the Republicans to take over either the House or the Senate in 2022, which would be a good thing for the country.